Alright guys, welcome back to another awesome tutorial and in this video what I want to do is I want to start building the world so our dude can actually walk around on because right now if we just have a dude right here he's just going to fall all the way to the bottom of the screen and die and to me that doesn't sound like a very fun game at all unless you name it like Suicide 2.0 or something but uh, I don't want to make a game like that so that's what we're going to be doing but first I'm going to show you guys something that I always do and something I recommend you always do. So if you scroll out by holding control on your keyboard and using your mouse wheel to scroll out, you can see that this is our game right here. Now what I want to do is since this background is perfectly fitted to our layer and this is pretty much um, a layer that we're not going to be editing again. We're not going to allow the player to blow up the background or anything like that. It's perfect right now. What I want to do is actually lock this so we don't accidentally select it or delete it. And so it stays that way for the rest of the game development. So in order to do that, this is actually our background layer. And if you click this check mark, you can see that it appears and it disappears or it's visible and not visible but the first thing I want to do is actually create a new layer on top of it now I actually already renamed this the background but it was layer 0 in order to uh, rename anything just click this little pencil whatever it's called and rename that one to background and for the new one right here rename this one to main so basically this background layer is the layer that we're never going to touch again so it would be a good idea I said to lock it and of course if you're familiar with Photoshop or anything you know to lock layers just click this little lock icon right here and it goes from being open to being closed and what this means is it's locked meaning you can't select it so try to select your background you can't anymore now just a heads up what we're going to be doing is for the rest or for 99% of it unless we decide to make another level or something we're going to be working in this main layer. This is going to be where our dude is, where all the enemies, the stuff he can jump on, the blocks he can break, stuff like that. So make sure that you have this layer selected from here on out. So now that we got our main layer, good to go. Press control, hit zero. Make sure you are in the right window. And actually whenever I'm developing a game, I like to put everything in the top left corner to start just because I don't know it's kind of like habit but the first thing we need to do is we need to like I said give the dude a world some stuff to jump on some ground for him to run around on we just can't import the dude right away so let's start building the world and this is how we do it in order to get that land we're gonna import a sprite so double click on um, this layer right here and you're gonna put in insert new object that's what Windows is gonna pop up and scroll down until you see sprite so double click this and it's going to give you these crosshairs basically saying where do you want to put it now just click anywhere because we can reposition it later just like we did with the background and it says okay so you can either select an image right here and it has some other windows too now in this um, game development series whenever you're making a platform game it's good to work with a lot of of those uh, sprite strips or um, y you know in the last tutorial I told you to download those sheets of like characters moving and tile sets they were called well that's what we're going to be using because it's pretty much the best thing to use in a platform game as you guys are going to see why later on but in order to download our first tile set what we need to do is not click this folder but if we go in this animation frames uh, window right here and right click it choose the selection import sprite strip and now what we want to do is if you have it downloaded then select that but the one I'm using is in sprite jungle performer tiles and this tiles right here now hit open and what I want to do is maybe I can show you guys first so you know what's going on uh, media bundle la 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 sprites jungle performer tiles preview so what this basically is is it's not really easy to tell right now but it's uh, 12 by 12 it's actually broken up into blocks for example you guys can see in this area each of these 
um, little squares is actually a part of the world that we can build. So if you want to build a tree, you would use this. If you want to build a ground, you would use this first one right here. But what we need to do is before we import this entire image, because it looks weird right now, is we need to tell Construct2 to, to actually break this up in a 12 by 12, um, I don't know, formation or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But that's how we want to break it up. So we'll put 12 by 12 and hit OK. And whenever we do that, we got to give it some time to work. But it's automatically going to split that one big image into a 12 by 12 section, giving you 144 smaller images. So that's what it did right there. And if you click this, if that, I don't know why that just disappeared. But as you can see, it now broke it up into 144 images. Now, this zero one right here, you're always going to have that. That's pretty much the default one before you imported any images. So if you right click and just delete that, then you get rid of that blank one. But obviously, these are the pieces that we can use to build the world. And that's what that tile set I had you download. That's what it basically is. So pretty freaking cool. And um, well, in the next video, I guess we're actually going to be starting to put these pieces together and build a world for our dude. So it's going to be awesome. And uh, well, um, make sure that you have your tile set imported. And also, if you have any questions or if you come across um, any problems, you can ask me in my forum and I'll put a link below. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and well, I'll see you next time.